hello. In today's video, I have for you a straight up Goodwill outlet bins haul. Here we go. Hello, you all. I hope you're doing well. It's a lovely afternoon. We're finally above zero here in Minnesota. Woo woo. They're telling us that uh, that might be it. We might not go below zero again, and we're all really pleased about it. So I'm inserting this footage into the beginning of my video because I meant to tell you this and I forgot. I can no longer accept packages, friend mail packages. So without warning and without telling me they were doing it, the post office closed my post office box. They say that it was expired. I know I renewed it for a year and now I can't find my receipt anywhere and they have no record of when I opened it, when they closed, they just know that it's closed and that must be why. I was like, can you look anything up? They're like, we don't keep any kind of record on it. And, and if you want the same post office box, you have to pay an additional fee to get the same post office box. So I was like, you know what? This has been such a headache the entire year. I'm close, I'm gonna keep it closed. And so for now, I cannot accept packages. I may at some point in the future uh, look into a UPS mailbox, but I hear it's kind of expensive. So for now, if you're gonna contact me, it's just gonna have to be on um, email. So, and I apologize if your packages got returned. I know several packages got returned. That's how I found out that my post office box was closed because people were like, why did my package get returned? And I was like, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, so that's what's happening. Let's get to the Goodwill outlet bins haul. I went to the Goodwill outlet bins and it was fantastic. I found some really great vintage items. So if you like vintage, you'll want to stick around and I'm going to go ahead and just get right into it. I won't be putting too many things into my decor yet because like I've said in other videos, I'm about to switch my decor from winter to spring and I just haven't done that yet. I'm hoping to get some of that done this weekend. And if you're interested in that sort of thing, it will be over on my home and garden channel. If you're not aware, I also have a home and garden channel and a DIY channel. I will link the home and garden channel here. DIY haven't been uploading as much. I am going to start uploading to that channel again now that I have a little more time on my hands now with the holidays being behind us and everything. So, all right, let's go ahead and get right into this haul. What do I want to show you first? I have some things that I'm keeping, most things that I'm keeping and some that I'm reselling. If you're not aware, I do have a little vintage booth in a shop called the Pink Elephant and that's where I resell. I don't do any online reselling. I just don't prefer it. Oh, also, on this day at the bins, I have a friend, his name is Brad. He also resells at the Pink Elephant and he found some of the things that I'm going to show you for me. I bought them, but he found them for me. So we weren't there together. We just happened there on the same day and I'm super pleased with some of the things that he found. So I will let you know if, one, if any of the things are the things that he picked up. Okay, I'm gonna start with not this. I'll start with this. So I do sell some vintage uh, souvenirs in my booth at the Pink Elephant. I thought this one was pretty and it's got like the luster wear look to it. You can see kind of in the blue glaze. It's from San Francisco. I mean a souvenir from San Francisco, but originally made in Japan and it is made to hang on the wall. So there's a little bit of a market. I mean, I don't sell these things for much, but there's a little market for these kind of vintage souvenirs. So that will go to the shop. It's so cute. I love San Francisco. It's one of my favorite cities. I mean, I haven't been there since before the pandemic, so I don't know what it's like now, but it was lovely when I went about, hmm, I think I went to San Francisco when Molly was 17. So it was about four years ago now and we just really enjoyed it. Okay, next, I also picked these up for the, sh <clears throat> for the shop. Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. I'm not sick, it's just allergies. It really is just allergies. <laughs> anyway, there's three of them and they're made to hang on the wall. So you would hang them kind of like this and Oh, someone might want these. I thought they were kind of cool. I'm not sure what they're made of. They're not breakable. I think they're kind of some kind of resin, I think. And they do have these little keyholes in them so that you can, you know, hang them on the wall. Hooper has a cough. If you're not aware, and I'm not going to talk too much about it because I will cry, we had to put Daisy, our other puppy, down. At some point, I will do a video about it uh, and about her, but not right now. Anyway, 
So Hooper is the lone man here, and uh, he's super old as well, but he's holding his own, right, Hoops? Anyway, his bed is right here. He sleeps here. So if you hear him coughing, don't be alarmed. That's just the sounds that he makes. Anyway, so yeah, so I got three of the birds. I am not keeping them for myself, but I think someone might want them for their decor. So I'll put those at the shop. I'll just go with the same theme, the things I'm putting at the shop. I found this. It is meant to be a handle for one of the cast iron pans. So the brand here is Lodge. You may have seen Lodge cast iron. I don't have any, but I thought, oh, that's useful. And you know, something people might need. So I'll put this at the shop for a few bucks. I haven't looked it up on eBay to know. That's where I, that's what I use as like my price guide. And I haven't looked it up yet. So I have no idea what they go for. I can't imagine much, but that will go to the shop. Okay, and then the books. I'll do some books next because that will be a mix of things that I'm keeping and things that I'm selling. So this one I'm going to sell. It's called I'll Flip For You, Beetle Bailey. That was a cartoon, a, a comic book strip. I was never a super fan of Beetle Bailey. Not that I didn't like it. I just didn't, was never very into it. But I thought, oh, someone might like this. And it was published. Let's see. This version seems like it was published 1977. Or at least that's the copyright date. So it's in really good shape. It's almost as old as me. And uh, it looks to be in very good shape. So that will go to the shop. And then Chris and I got this for our kids book collection. You know, I guess, I guess eventually the books will be for the grandchildren. But he remembered this one from childhood and I did too. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Oh, I definitely remember this. It's a scholastic book. Original copyright, wow, original copyright was 1972. I don't know what year this particular version was published. So that will be for our kids book collection. This will go down to the shop, it's so cute. Games for boys and girls, look at that. Look at the font, the font. Ah, oh, maybe I'll keep this for a little while. It's so cute, right? It would be really cute in a summer display, red, white, and blue display, very cute. I really like that. So it was published, let's see, in 1951. There's a little uh, thing, there's a seal on it from a school district, I think. Yeah. It says Southside Elementary Library, Wasika, Minnesota. And that's what this, the stamp says it, but then also there's a seal. I don't know if you could see it. So that's kind of cool. You see, it's, there you go little uh, 3D thing going on there. So that's pretty cute. I think I'll keep that for now. And then I can always sell it if I change my mind. And then we got Horton Here's a Who. And with its dust jacket, which is pretty neat. Sorry, the sun is coming in. The sun is coming in. I'm not going to complain though. The dust jacket, dust jacket. Horton Hears a Who was originally published in 1954. No idea when this one was put out. Let's look at the cover. Yeah, that looks newer to me. So I have no idea when this was originally published. I mean, excuse me, when the, I know when it was originally published. I don't know when this copy is from, but pretty cool. And then I got two Sesame Street books. This one call, is called the Sesame Street Storybook Alphabet. And it is from copyright 1980. So that's definitely something I grew up with. And this one is Going Up, the Elevator Counting Book. Super cute. And they're both from like the same series. This is also 1980. They both have this like same cover paper in them. So some kind of series. Maybe it was like a book a month club or something. I have no idea, but... Those are cute. I think I'll probably put those at the shop. Those will go to the shop. Okay, what's next? Oh, this is also for the shop. This is uh, a Cabbage Patch Kid in a Christmas ornament. I really don't know anything about it. Um, I don't know if this was like when Cabbage Patch Kids got popular again, like in the last decade, or if this is originally from the 80s. I don't know, I haven't done any research yet. But I thought she's cute, and her name is Kirsten Mary, born on February 1st. Happy birthday, Kirsten. <laughs> so that was really cute. That will go to the shop at Christmas time. Okay, 
So now on to the things that I'm keeping. Yay, I got so many good things for me. Okay, first of all, Brad found this. I'm gonna move slightly out of the sun. Brad found this for me. Oh my goodness. I walked, okay, I went through a bin and he was kind of behind me because we were chit-chatting and I went through the bin and did not see this at all. And then he's like, Nicole, <laughs> you missed it. I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. So he graciously gave it to me and it's fantastic. I am going to put this up in my, so I have a, you know, I have my crock here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. That's my crock of non-colored handle ones. And then I have a wine rack that holds my colored handled ones in my kitchen. I do have a green one already, but this one's really cool. So this is gonna go up with my colored handle ones in the kitchen. If I get a chance and I can put it up there, I will insert footage. Otherwise we're just going on to the hall, so. There she is. See the one on top? So this one I already had. This, oh, uh, there's my finger. This one on the bottom I already had. And then the new one is the one on top. So that green is a little more like of a yellowy green. This is more of a bluish green. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. Quite pleased. I don't know if I mentioned this already. I spent just under $20. The bins pricing has gone way up at my bins location. It's over $2 a pound now and books are like 50 cents an inch versus 19 cents an inch. So everything's gone up, but I spent just under $20. Okie dokie, what else? I got this for Christmas time. I thought it was so cute. You know, I like these crocheted things, things that look like grandma made them. That is just adorable. So that will go into my vintage Christmas collection because I just think it's cute. And I found this little guy. He's so adorable. It's a gnome. And uh, I don't know, I, he, I'm sure he's for Christmas, I know that, because he was with like a bunch of Christmas ornaments. But I think he could also be cute in like a gardeny themed kind of thing, because he has the mushrooms, see that? So I'm gonna keep him out and see uh, you know, if I figure out some way to use him in my summer decor. So I'm gonna put him with that Games for Boys and Girls book. Okay, uh, what else? <gasps> All right, this is so, so cute. I think it was like meant to be a bell, but it doesn't have a bell knocker, dinger. I don't, what is that called again? Clapper, it's a clapper. It doesn't have one and it doesn't look like it ever had one. Oh, it did have one. See, oh, Madeline's FaceTime. Sorry, Maddie FaceTimed me right in the middle of this. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes. So you can see here, that's where the clapper would have, I guess, you know, probably a, a string would have gone through and through and you tie it. In here so it looks like something that someone made at like a ceramic shop you can kind of see there so i don't know this for sure and i'm guessing maybe they just didn't put a clapper in or at some point in its life it came off but the reason i love this look at that graphic ah it's fantastic oh my gosh i love that vintage graphic and i always wonder how do things like this not get broken at the bins i just don't understand so yay yay Super love that. That will go into my Christmas decor. And for some of you who have asked, I do keep a bin of either partially packed or one that's fully empty. And I just put things in it that I find for my decor through the year so that, you know, it's all kind of staying in one place. Like, so I don't have Christmas things in 12 places. I'll just put that into my little vintage Christmas, my empty-ish, it's an empty-ish bin where I can put new things that I find. So Okie dokie, what else? Um, all right, I found some cookie cutters. They're nothing special, but they're cute. I will show you. This one I think I have, and if I have it, I will probably sell this one. It's a cowboy boot, super adorable. And then this one, I, I don't know if I have this one or not. And I don't really know what it is. At first I thought it was a butterfly, but now I'm, I don't know what this is. Is it a star? Is it supposed to be like a Christmas star? I don't know. You can put in the comments what you think that might be. <laughs> so that one, these were really cute. And I think they're like, maybe for like a baby shower, they would be really cute. I don't have these. They're like, I think a hand or is that supposed to be a turkey? I was thinking it was like a little hand and a little foot. That's what I'm going to say they are. If they're not, that's fine. But that's what they sort of look like to me. This is definitely a foot. And this looks like a hand or a turkey, but I think it's probably a hand, but I don't know. Anyway. You know, it's always a guess on these old cookie cutters. And then a star, 
the this will probably go on my Christmas tree. You know, I have like a little Christmas tree that I decorate with cookie cutters and I use this kind and I put ribbon through here and then tie them onto the tree. It's super cute. And then I did get one. I don't oh, because someone had crafted with it and I just pulled it off their craft. One vintage light reflector. These are fun to put into crafts, to assemblage crafts, or just into vignettes. Um, so that's that goes with my vintage Christmas as well. I did find this cute little basket. I just thought it was adorable. It looks like SF made it in 2001 and it's really nice for vignettes. And then Brad found for me, oh, I love these. And so I will probably put these out in my spring decor. They're old spools with ribbon, but they're wooden, which I think is so pretty. Aren't those gorgeous? And they totally go with my colors. You know, I have blue in here. This is a deeper blue. This is like the color of my chairs. I wish you could kind of see well maybe I can turn it just a smidgen so you can see my chair over there see that it's like a perfect match so I thought that was really cool and then a purple one which you know is nice for Easter time so but even with something like this you can just tuck them into like a basket like this like this cutie basket and then put that in a vignette somewhere it'll be so great in a vignette on setting on a table or whatever easy to decorate with and super fun to have I placed it over here on this table next to that chair I was showing you. I think it looks so cute. I really, really love it. And I just put it on top of a little vintage hanky. I will probably put a sprig of my pothos plant in here to give it some greenery, but I think it looks so cute. Sorry for the sunshine. I know the lighting is not ideal, but I wanted to show you where I put it. Okay, a few more things. I also found... Oh. I just spotted something that I almost forgot about. Oh, the sun is the sun is coming for me, guys. I'm gonna back up. Just I'm gonna move into the room a little more away from the sunshine. I'm sorry, sunshine. Okay, now hopefully it won't get me. Uh, I did find one. I don't know why, but just one little vintage <laughs> spice jar, which is so cute. I again, I just really like the graphics and. Don't know what I'll do with it. Just like to have it. Not a minimal, not a minimalist. <laughs> Sometimes I keep things because I just like them. Okay. And this was a super cool find. So this is one of those needle books. I'm going to insert footage of my needle book collection. I'll show it here. I, I just, I'm, I love it. I love it. And I don't find them very often, but I love when I do. Oh, this one's in super great shape. So there's nothing missing from it. And it has its paper, you saw that. So really great shape. I will insert footage here of my needle book collection. Okay, so here's my collection. I have this, this is an old scrapbook that I think I also found at the bins a while back. And so I've just put the needle books in it with these little corners, which I need to locate so I can put my new one in. I have them in my scrapbooking stuff. But so I just put them in here and then I can still take them out and look at them if I want to. But here's my collection. So, and sometimes you'll find like two of the same or very similar graphic, but slightly different coloring or one is older. These are really cool. I don't have a ton. Oh, and I have this one. So this is a duplicate. So I will probably put this here so you can kind of see the two different ones. Uh, but you can see the coloring is a little different on them. So... This is like lighter. These, she, they kind of look a little blondier here. And this one says, pardon my intrusion, I am deaf and mute. And the people used to sell these to make money. And so I'll probably just put this one here with some of my corners. I have no idea. I think this was in the book. This was in the book when I found it. So I just left it there. But anyway, that's my collection. That's it. Look, and lots of room for more. That one will go right there. Okay, and two more things that I found. This one, so at first I only found this and I was like, when Brad was with me, I was like, Brad, that's a pattern box. Let's keep an eye out for the lid. And two bins down, I found, I spotted the lid. So this is for patterns. I probably won't keep patterns in it. I'll probably just put it up on a shelf, but look how cute that is. I love these vintage pattern boxes. If you ever find them, they are good for storage. So I can set it on a shelf and have it be all cute, but then also put stuff in it. And hidden storage is always great, right? So, and it's really lightweight. I have another one that my friend gave me that's from her mother-in-law. So 
This is my second one. And I pulled that one out for red, white, and blue decor. So this one will probably come out for summer as well. Just the red gingham is what I do in my kitchen in the summer. So I won't go put it in the kitchen. I don't want it to get dirty, but maybe in here on a shelf or something. So, okay. And the last thing, oh, it's so cute. It was all in a bag. And this is definitely going into my kitchen on a tiered tray. Oh, isn't she so cute? Little hen. And it says Anesco Japan. Oh my goodness. I think she's adorable. And then with her were these teeny tiny, teeny tiny pigs. Look at, and look, these are not even as small as these. I don't even know what I'll do with them, but they are so adorable. Aren't they so cute? Ah, so adorable, adorable. So that was probably my favorite find. Well, that and maybe the, the spools. I really like the spools as well. Okay, so that's my bins haul for this week. Super pleased with all my finds. Why don't you let me know in the comments what your favorite find of what I showed you is. And I will see you on Sunday with another Thrift With Me video. Until then, have a great weekend and stay safe. I hope it's warm where you are. Bye.